White House officials struggled to mute reporters on a conference call about nuclear program-related waivers Mark Wilson Getty images The White House spent nearly half an hour struggling to enable the listening-only feature on a conference call with reporters on Thursday, the 11th of January. Senior White House officials were supposed to announce U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to continue waiving nuclear program-related sanctions on Iran during the call, CBS reported. However, both sides of the conference call remained unmuted. This White House can't even run their FK in conference call, one reporter on the unmuted line said to the entire conference call. They don't know how to mute the line. An unnamed White House official shot back. It's the illegitimate media that doesn't know how to conduct themselves. They can't mute their FKing phones. Mute your phones. Meanwhile, another White House official tried to restore order on the noisy call so that the people in charge could talk. I think if everyone had half a brain and common sense and muted their phones, this would NT be a problem, she reportedly yelled. After the slated start of the call began, one reporter asked repeatedly, Hello. Hello. Has the call started? Another person sarcastically chimed, This is Kim Jong-un calling for Donald Trump. The call eventually began a little after 1.00 p.m., according to CBS. Officials later announced that they would not be taking questions from reporters citing the earlier technical difficulties. This is not the first time Trump's White House has faced difficulties with conference calls. During a conference call with the press in July 2017 on Iran, one unmuted participant on the call said his inflatable doll is a lesbian. BBC News reporter Tara McKelvey tweeted that she thought it came from an ad. A senior administration official decided to cut the Call short shortly after saying, just pull the cord. Meanwhile, many on Twitter couldn't help but snicker at the White House's latest technical difficulties involving a conference call. A major decision on Iran by White House today was completely overtaken by Trump's comments on Haiti and a botched conference call on subject. Welcome to foreign policy reporting in a Trump world. Joyce Karam, the Washington correspondent for Al Hayat newspaper, tweeted. It took them six months to figure out how to turn on the lights, one person added. Why is anyone surprised? I'm literally laughing out loud on an airplane. I wish I didnt miss this call. Noah Gray at Noah Gray in January 12, 2018. A Euro E everyone, please mute your phone. A Euro followed by a Euro E everyone. Shut up a Euro. Now greetings among greater than 100 participants in Hebrew, Spanish, Arabic. Welcome to the White House Conference Call Service Joyce Karam at Joyce. Karam January the 12th, 2018 Did they ever get the VCR to stop blinking 1200? Kyle Mack at Kyle Mack January 12th, 2018 And they worked in the dark in the early days of the administration, because they couldn't find the light switch. Jake Aliski at Sortar Skeptical January the 12th, 2018 For 22 minutes, these Keystone Cops couldn't put a conference call with reporters into listen-only mode. At one point, a reporter joked, this is Kim Jong-un calling for Donald Trump. Which is funny and terrifying, given the White House's incompetence. HTTPST. Card thing 6 of no 8 m Chris Lewitt Chris Lau 44 January 12, 2018 H.E.'s hired. The best people, Chuck Rothaus at Seagrothaus January 12, 2018 It's a fact the White House, once the epicenter of world power, is now a damned pigsty full of improvised, incompetent lackeys. What a tragedy. White House struggles with muting function for 22 minutes on Iran conference call with reporters. HTTPST.co 39 Kiaps.